when you work really, really hard and you don't see the results you want. You don't. You push hard and the outcome is not what you expect. There was this show I used to watch. It was called Law and Order and it was the criminal intent version of that show. It was on television. I watched every single episode and there was an episode where our character on the show says to one of the lead detectives, you know, I just worked really, really hard and I didn't get the results I want. I'm paraphrasing here, but it was something along those lines, very similar. The detective looks at the person and says, welcome to the human race. And that stuck with me, even though it's a TV show and it's fiction, because it's true. Sometimes we push really, really hard. We make changes we know that are good. We might buy the right books, read the right things, study the right topics, take the right classes, follow the correct workout routine, whatever it is you're trying to accomplish, you're doing everything you're supposed to do. And it feels like you can't get ahead. Welcome to the human race. It's kind of dark, but it's also kind of inspiring because that challenge, the challenge of success, I think is what drives a lot of people. And I think it should drive you. You know, if, if you know something is hard, that can be motivating because if you can beat that thing or learn that thing or conquer that thing that is hard, then you've succeeded. And I think it's good to be that way. I think it's good to try to be the best you can be. And I've got countless examples, but in this video, I want to focus on one that I received from a viewer here on the channel. He sent me a really good email and there was some stuff in the email that I read that I thought, oh, I have to reply to this email like right now. So I like this guy. His name is Ryan S. And I'm going to read the email very carefully and we're going to talk about it. The subject is education advice and math in high school. Hello, my name is Ryan and I am in Michigan. I go to one of the highest rated schools as a sophomore in the state and the best public school in the state that doesn't require a test admission. The school places a lot of expectation on students to succeed. I remained in a standard education bracket until the end of freshman year where I decided to push myself. I tested out of geometry and I am taking. So here's what Ryan is taking. Algebra 2, which is basically college algebra, Physics 1, Physics 2, a History AP course, and a Research AP course. The entire year I have been struggling and I expected to for one semester. I never truly studied due to math being easy, so I thought it was a good idea to take more requiring classes to force myself to grow. This is really good, really good. Even if it affect my grades, for the semester, which it did. And I did grow. I study two to three hours every day. And I believe I study effectively. I go out and download books and I study from those books. However, his grades have only improved by a minor percent. He says he doesn't know what to do and he's changed how he's learned over the course of 30 give or take weeks. But at the same time, his dedication to math has quadrupled quadrupled. I'm sure you receive a truly messages just like mine. And I have been watching your videos and I'm in the process of purchasing your college algebra course. I just figured I'd send you a message and see if you have any advice for me. Thank you for reading. Yeah, I have, I have a lot of advice. So first let's talk about what you're taking. College algebra basically, which is algebra two in high school, basically, as you mentioned, physics one, physics two, uh, a research class and a history class. So you're taking five courses and two of them are physics and one of them is math. And so I think obviously, you know, you decided to push yourself, which is really good, Ryan. But now because you decided to push yourself, you're working harder than you were before. So basically all the extra work you're doing is to keep up with what, with, with, with what your course load is now, right? So when you, when you set really high expectations for yourself, 
you're gonna have to work harder to meet those expectations. And you're working harder, but you're not getting the results you want. It says here, your, your grades have improved, but only by a minor percent. Let me just say this, let me just, let me just start with this. For me, personally, studying mathematics, I could never really do more than three real math classes. So if I, if I would take four classes, I would take maybe, maybe two math classes and two like easy classes or three math classes and one easier class. And that was it. That was it. I couldn't do more than that. You're taking five classes and you're also taking physics one and two. That's tough. So that's a lot of work, right? That's a lot of work. Also, I think that the fact that your grades improved and you managed to increase your workload at the same time, I think that's a success. I think you should consider that a success. I think you're doing well. It's just you're not getting the results you wanted, which again is normal. It, it really, really is. It's normal. Another thing that might help you is to realize that when people take college algebra, it is a hurdle. You know, I've taught dozens, maybe a maybe hundred college algebra courses. I'd have to, I'd have to count them, but I've, I've taught, I taught college algebra for several years. And out of all the courses I taught, that oftentimes was my favorite course to teach. You know, I'd teach Calc 1, Calc 2, Calc 3, differential equations, and then college algebra, some stats. But college algebra, multiple semesters, was my favorite class. And the reason was because it was such a hard course for the students. Now, that might sound weird and twisted. So you might say, why do you want to teach a class that's hard for the students? It's because that's a class where students are really, really challenged and they're forced to grow. And it is a struggle. Personally, I didn't even get an A in college algebra when I took it. So it's a struggle for everyone. So realize that you are in one of the, the hardest growth stages of your mathematical career. Again, from teaching all of these classes, Calc 1, Calc 2, Calc 3, differential equations, algebra, stats, pre-calc trig, I feel like time and time again, college algebra was the course where people really, really struggle. And I would tell the people, oh yeah, college algebra, that's what the struggle is. And, and they say, well, what, what about calculus? Isn't that harder than college algebra? Sure, calculus is more advanced, but that learning curve that is, is steeper there, it's, it's harder to get through it for some reason. It's just a big, big hurdle. I just wanna say props to you, Ryan, though. I mean, you're, you're a sophomore. You're taking basically college algebra, physics one, physics two, research history. You've upped your game. You're studying two to three hours a day. I think you're doing awesome. I think you should congratulate yourself on, on your hard work. If you want to improve your grades, though, right? If you want to improve your grades, I do recommend maybe toning it down uh, next next year, right? Maybe taking less classes or some easier classes. Keep moving forward, right? Keep progressing, but it, it's not a race, right? You will get there. It's not a race. You don't have to overdo it. You know, when I was in college, uh, I knew a guy, he would take like five or six math classes and it was just crazy. It was crazy. I mean, it was just nuts. He, he, he wouldn't get A's in all of them. I would take three and I'd get mostly A's and B's. And I also felt like I was able to focus more on the classes uh, because I had less classes. When you have more things to do, when you have too much to do, then it takes away time from you know, your success. You know, if, if you have a job or if you're tutoring and you're taking six classes and you have all these other responsibilities, that makes a huge difference, right? So something to think about. I think two to three hours a day is amazing. The fact that you're in 10th grade and you're studying that much is incredible. And my advice would be to next time you sign up for classes and you pick your classes for high school, just don't, don't take as many or try to take some easier ones as well, but keep, keep leveling up and, and keep pushing forward, right? You're still super young. You're not even in college yet and you're already learning all this stuff. I mean, I didn't learn college algebra until I was like 24 years old. I and mean, that's, that's when I studied college algebra, which was in college. So you're way ahead of me and you're way ahead of a lot of people and you're doing awesome. And it's something that often happens, right? People will take a class and they'll start studying more and they'll take harder classes. And again, they won't get the results they want. Welcome to the human race. That episode of Law and Order just, just stuck with me. And I love it because it's true. Sometimes you work really, really hard and you don't get the results you want. I can use YouTube as an example, right? I've been on YouTube 
uh, almost 10 years, right? Almost 10 years. I have over, I don't know, maybe over 14,000 videos across all of the YouTube channels that I have. I have three, right? And it's, it's been a slow road, right? It's been a slow road. Some people will post 20 videos and they'll blow up and they'll get 100,000 100, subscribers. Not me, right? Not me. I focused a lot on a lot of math videos and educational content and it's just a slow growth. It's been a slow grind, you know? And I work really hard on a video, post it. No one cares, right? Welcome to the human race. So I really appreciate your email. And honestly, the reason I replied to this one is because you mentioned the fact that uh, I'm sure you receive a trillion uh, messages just like mine. Yeah. So I do. I do get a lot of emails and I'm going to try to answer some of them. But um, yeah. Yeah. I do get a lot. This is a good one though, Ryan. And I respect your hard work. And hopefully this video can help someone else out there who is also struggling and they don't see the results they want. Remember, if you're working really hard and you don't get those results, it's normal, right? It's normal. If it was that easy, everyone would do it. There's no, there's no formula. We all, we're all looking for a formula, right? Everyone wants a formula, some easy way to do it, but there's not. And even when you have everything perfect, you know, when you're, when you're doing math every day, when you're going and using all your resources, sometimes you just can't get to where you want to get. The good news for you, Ryan, is you're doing well, your grades improved, you're just not where you want to be yet. And yeah, I appreciate your email. If anyone else has advice for Ryan on struggling and not seeing results, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Remember, when you leave comments, it helps other people. Also, if you want to learn math, I do have courses. Ryan was talking about them in the email. So I have courses. They're on the Udemy platform. But if you get them, please use the links from my website, mathsorcerer.com. Uh, two reasons. One, it helps me greatly. Otherwise, Udemy takes like a huge cut. And two, I've lowered the prices to the bare minimum. So if you use my links, you should get a low price. And lastly, of course, if you want to subscribe, you can do that if you want to, but you don't have to. It's up to you. The most important thing that I want you to take away from this video, the most important thing is that it is normal. Sometimes we do everything right in life. We do everything right. We, we work hard. We make all the right choices and things just don't work out. And what do you do in those cases? You get back up again and you try again and you just keep pushing. I hope it's been helpful. Keep doing mathematics.